Hi all, in this video we will discuss some time period calculations based on date type fields in Odoo 15 development. So inside my custom module, vehicle render, uh, you can see when I create a new form, you can see here many fields and here inside the on change of this field called reg underscore date, that is uh, date field. I will perform an on change and inside that I am taking the today's date inside a field called today and here I am just printing it so that it will be clear for you and based on the package defined inside the tools date utils we can extract the month quarter quarter number and we can perform various numeric calculations on these uh, date type fields. So let us see how that can be done in Odoo. So first we have to import the date utils from odoo.tools and then this date utils can be called into a variable uh, like date utils dot get month and as a parameter we can pass our date value date that is today's date so this will return a set of values or a range of values for that month uh, we'll just we'll run this program and see and here you can see we are calling date utils dot get month date utils dot get quarter because this date utils contains many predefined functions like get month get quarter get quarter number and we can add uh, to add dates based on days or weeks or months or years similarly we can subtract too so now let us just run this program and see so this will be printed in the log here so when i i have already upgraded my module so i'm just selecting a date the selection of this value doesn't matter because um, we have performed it on an on change value on change function and I also am not taking this value instead I am getting the current date that is 19th February so in the log you can see today's date today's date the first print function today's date printed over here is 2022 year 2 is the February month and 19 today's date and the um, system type so now let us see the next print get is get month here you can see now it is february so the it will return a range of the month that is it will return like the starting date that is 1 february 2022 to the last date 28 of the february february uh, 2 2022 so this is how it will return uh, the get month function value now similarly for the get quarter so we know that we have 12 months and a single quarter will consist of three months uh, so here you can see february lies in the first quarter so it returns january 1st this is january 1st of 2022 and march 31st this will be the first quarter as then uh, february lies as the current date lies in the first quarter it will return the range of first quarter that is february sorry january 1st to march 31st so that is what we got here and in the quarter number you can see the quarter number inside which this particular month lies in so it is the first quarter similarly uh, while adding date you can uh, pass the current date as the value or any date value and uh, you can specify addition for which part of that date whether it is days or weeks or months so if it is days so current date is 19th so 19th plus 5 days so 19 plus 5 will show 24 and similarly for add week i am adding 2 weeks with february so here you can see 2022 three five so two weeks in the sense it will be 14 days 
and then add month day two till start add then you can set the month so this march now and similarly for subtraction too so you can see so this is how we can perform time period based these are just a few uh, time period calculations from a bunch of calculations in the coming videos we can discuss all those so if you have more queries regarding the same you can reach out to us at info at cybersys.com